Hey babes, Denny here. I'm just doing a quick nightly skincare routine. If you guys wanna see what products I use and how I use them, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I just stepped out of the shower where I washed my face already and scrubbed it. So first I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair routine really quick and then I'll follow with the skincare routine. And this towel thing, I love it. It just like soaks up all the moisture. And it's just called Turby Twist. And if you see like a reflection of my watch, I don't have my viewfinder in front of me. I just have a mirror, so I'm using this. So first I'm gonna brush it out with a wide comb brush because we don't want to damage any of the hair. And I like having like a part down the middle. That's just my preference. So now, what I'll go in is with the Nelson J Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask. You're supposed to wash it out, but I just leave it in. So this is what that looks like. And I'll link everything down below, everything that I use, so you guys can either get more information about it or go ahead and purchase it. I actually use a lot of this. So this is like the first bit that I'm going to use. I'll put it all over my hair, but mostly on the ends. See, so that was only one like side of my hair. And I have a lot and very thick hair. So that's why I have to use a lot of this. So about the same amount for the other side. Spread it out real good. I get my roots and actually I don't know guys this is the hair color that I got recently I'd never like been blonde before till recently it was all fun and games till just the ends were like oh my god just when I would get out of the shower they would just like feel so like dead I guess oh it was the craziest feeling they don't feel like that anymore which thank god and that's mainly the reason why I got a haircut. But I don't know if I should take it back up again or just let my natural hair color, just like a really dark brown grow up. But I'll decide that later. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this color on me or should I just let my natural hair glow? Okay, so next thing I'm gonna go with is the Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. And you could just get this at like your local Walmart or like CVS or something. I usually do like three pumps. And again, mainly focusing on the ends. Okay, and then I'll just brush that out again. Make sure everything's really good and coated. So now what we're gonna start with is this oil-free acne stress control. And you can see like right there, skin is having a mind of its own recently. It's a toner. It says it treats acne even before it emerges. So Thanks. eliminates oil and shine, refreshes and soothes. So this is what we're gonna use. And again, get it at Walmart, Target, CVS, whatever is nearest to you. This is all I have today. Just a cotton ball, half of a cotton ball. So I'm just gonna put it on here, get them out. I like to really soak my face. <laughs> so now, really get it everywhere. Under, down to my neck. I don't know if you can tell. I have my retainer on already. <gasps> I'm ready for bed. How are you really getting these like little areas right here? There. Now we're getting under the eye. Now we're just gonna let that dry. 
So now I'm just gonna use my micro needle roller, the 0.25 millimeter. And I don't use this all the time, but I mean, I'm gonna use it tonight. <laughs> and with these, you kind of have to be really careful about how you use it, how often you use it. You can only use the actual like roller six times. I've used it three times, so I don't use it every day or even every week. I alternate. And you can see it has just like the smallest little needles there. I'm just gonna go along my face. I used to think that this like hurt. It kind of does, but it doesn't at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. You just apply a little bit of pressure. You wanna do it like every which way. Be careful not to like tug. Girl. Sometimes you hit like sensitive spots and you're like ah! I'm gonna do a little bit down here, then the forehead. Really getting right here. I usually tend to do this a lot. <laughs> so you see that creates like a wrinkle there. And really trying to stop that, but will I? Who knows? Probably not. And then this, once I am done using it, I'll soak it in alcohol to get it disinfected. Like if I do have any problems like this here today, it won't like carry over to the next time I use it. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the vitamin C and caffeine brightening eye serum. Her beer, you guys can see, see that. So this I will put obviously under my eyes, right here, get a good amount in there because your girl has some bags, pretty big ones too. So now we're just gonna get that real good in there. Okay, and if I have like excess, I'll just apply it to my the tops of my hands because that's where you can tell you're aging as well. And you know, we get in close to our 30s. Next thing is going to be the Hyaluronic Acid Deep Hydro Eye Serum. So again, this is gonna go on the eyes. By this time, the other serum has like dried and it's just a little tacky, so put this one on. Bam. Smear. This one's more of like a thicker consistency than the other one I used, the brightening serum. So again, just going in there, getting it, and this one I just drag it all up in there. So once that is dry or dry enough, I'll go ahead and do, so this one's another Herbivare and this is the collagen and retinol daily face serum. So this we're gonna put all over the face. Most of it is gonna go around here and then right here because that thing I told you guys about earlier. And this one, I kind of running low. Do it through here. And this one, we're gonna put it even on our neck as well. Reaching the end, guys. Now our last serum that we're gonna use is actually for my lashes. <laughs> it's called Lavish Lash and it is eyelash and eyebrow serum. So this you basically put on as if it were like eyeliner. So I do the top lashes and I do the bottom lashes. And with it as well, I'll put some on my scar. Let's see if I can do it from far. See that it's just like right on the 
line. It's like you're putting eyeliner on. The top and the bottom. The side guys. It's always a doozy. Ooh. Doing it on the side. Just grab a little bit more. I just do it along that where my scar is okay and that's it for the serums now I'm gonna focus on my lips real quick like I said scrub them in the shower really good to get all like dead skin off and now I'm just gonna use the Vaseline lip therapy just grab some a little bit up on my lips so it gets if there are any cracks or anything it gets in there and repairs it every time I record the cats start going crazy or my husband is like all of a sudden has a cough <laughs> so now I'm just gonna put Coors wild rose and this is vitamin C brightening sleeping facial moisturizer just grab a little bit a little bit a little bit Put some on my face now that all the serums have been on my face and dried i like to put a good amount just because it feels so good and it, oh, you guys it smells so good and this i'll put down here on my neck as well extra put it right here this is where my unevenness is and here it is guys the last step this is just the grace and stella spray all day rose spray it's hydrating rose facial spray so this we're just gonna spray everywhere on our face and our neck so let me step back a little bit it's hard to spray down so And there you have it. This is how I do my skincare. Now, I don't do this like every night. I do this, I try to do it at least once a week, if not two times a week. So I'll do, if I'm just doing it in a hurry, before I head to bed, I'll do this, this serum. Because you guys know, look at this, eyelashes are like little babies. And the moisturizer. Okay, so that is it. That is my night time skincare routine. If you guys liked it, go ahead and let me know. Leave a comment down below, like the video, and go ahead and subscribe so you can see whenever I do post any of these videos. Eliminate, oh, eliminate, <laughs> you guys. That's weird. Ooh. A lavis, la, what the hell am I saying?